Hey there, guys. Time for another play along with Mrs. Steck. I have my trumpet here, and I am on page 11 of my Tradition of Excellence workbook. We're going to be going to, going to be going through numbers 39 and 40 today. Okay. So first of all, oh, there's my trumpet again, and I'm going to clear off some of this stuff because that's from the previous um, lesson for the previous instrument. But I'm going to go ahead and move that so it's not in our way or a distraction. All right. I'm going to go ahead and skip the counting for this one. We do have a tie at the end, but we've got for that one, one dash two, and then that's going to be tied over to three. And really all I'm going to, I can kind of think about that as taking almost the whole measure and then taking a breath after it. Okay. So that one is actually very intuitive. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and go through the notes. We've got E, G, G, G. Then we're going to repeat that. So we're going to go E, G, G, G again. You can write that in or you can just remember it. A, F, D, F, F, E, 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 G, G, spells egg, ha <laughs> ha, G, Repeat that, so E, G, 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 A, F, D, B, C. Hopefully you're getting to the point where these are becoming very intuitive. Um, maybe a new note, especially like down lower underneath the staff, maybe you're kind of like hesitant a little bit about that, um, especially below C where we've got that new note B. Um, but hopefully at least on where you've got your regular staff, you're getting comfortable with knowing that this is like this first line is always E. The second line is always G, uh, B, D, and F. Remember, every good band does fine. And that's how the kind of sentence that we use to kind of remember where um, those lines are. And then the space is in between. So this is our bottom space. So we've got F, A, C, E spells the word face. Face rhymes with space. So it makes sense, right? All right. Let's go ahead and go through, and we're just going to do the fingers, our vowel positions, while this is playing, and we're going to say the note names out loud, okay? I'm going to have the my part going. You're going to hear two parts because this has a melody and a harmony that play together, okay? So you're going to hear two parts, and but we're going to do only the stuff for the note names for top, the top line, the melody, okay? So here we go. Two, ready. E G G G E G G G A F D F F E E E G G G E G G G A F D B C. And again, E G G G. E, G, 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 A, F, D, F, F, E, 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 G, 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 E, G, 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 A, F, D, B, C. Okay. We're going to turn the my part off just because I'm, we are going to play through this now. And I want you to be able to hear just the melody so that you're always matching pitch with only that melody and don't get distracted by the second part. Okay. So here we go. Two, ready. <laughs> Melody. We're going to go ahead and add both parts back in. 
So we'll hear the harmony as well. We're also going to add the accompaniment or the background in. Um, we can maybe think of this as um, it's not the melody and it's not the harmony, although there's some chords that go through. So there's harmony within it, but it's not harmony that doubles the melody in its rhythm. Okay, so here we go. I really like this one, by the way. I really like folk music from other countries. Like world music makes me super happy. All right, here we go. Two, ready. <laughs> expand. So we want to take a nice relaxed breath in as if we are just stepping out into the fresh air or as if we are smelling something really nice or even thinking through your nose. What that feels like in the back of your throat, what it feels like in your stomach, okay? So and then when we breathe out, we're going to pretend that we're driving our belly button back into our spine and we're going to push the air out very slowly, manage it well, but we're going to push from down there. So you're going to push the air out with your belly button, okay? Which is a really weird thing to say, right? Who pushes anything around with their belly button? I'm going to put this down. We're going to go to number 40, San Sereni. This one, we are going to go through the counting because we're in two over four, which is a fairly, it's a pretty new concept for us. Um, it also has some more complicated ties. These ties um, are a little bit different than the ones we've seen before. So these rhythms are a little bit different than we've seen. So let's go ahead and do the counting. So we've got a half note, which gets two beats. We show that they're together by putting a dash between them. So as if you had a reading, um, a reading assignment that said pages one through two, which is a really short reading assignment. Lucky you. Then we've got one, two, quarter notes are each one beat, so we show them as separate. We don't, con um, don't connect them. Another half note, one dash two. I'm gonna ignore the tie for just a second, and then I'm gonna say, okay, we'll just have another couple of quarter notes, one, two. Then I'm gonna go back in, and I'm gonna connect these notes because the tie connects them just like it did here. So we've got one dash two, dash one, which is weird because you would never have a writing assignment that was or excuse me, a reading assignment that was one dash two dash one, because that's really weird. You wouldn't read the first page again. In music, it's a little different, okay? I've got one, two, these are not connected because this is a slur and I can tell because this note is in a different place than this one. This was on a space, that's on a line. This one's higher, this one's lower, okay? It's a slur, they're separate, one, two. We won't use the tongue in between them, which does kind of connect them in a different kind of way. It just makes them smoother, okay? So we're connecting them in a way that makes them smooth, not in a way that makes them one long sound. One dash two. Again, it's a slur. One dash two. One dash two. One, two. One dash two. One, two. And I'm going to go back and check this is a tie the notes are in the same space they're the same height as each other so i've got one dash two dash one one two again a slur so i'm okay there one two then i've got one dash two and is it a slur or a tie it's a tie because these are both on the same line underneath the step with our c okay let's go ahead and clap count this and a one, two, here we go. One, two, 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 one, two,
one, repeat. One, two, 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 one, off. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my metronome was doing some really weird stuff. So fingers crossed that it's actually okay. Let's go through the notes now. We've got G, E, F. Oh my, those are really big. I'm gonna have to make it a little smaller. G that's tied across to another G. Then we have a separate G. A, G, F, E, G, no tie, just a slur. Slurs down to F, another F, D, E, F, tied across to an F, F, G, F, D, there we go, B, and C tied to a C. Sorry, my handwriting is so bad. I'm much better writing just down on pen and paper, promise. All right, pause that if you need to, grab those notes. Um, make sure you're working towards being able to see and recognize the lines and spaces all on your own without me having to tell you what the notes are, okay? But I don't mind you guys writing things in, especially on your own without the assistance, just to kind of like get used to, like it's just another way that our brains can kind of like function and organize the data that we're getting in. This is a new language. So if you need to like write yourself little notes, which is essentially what that is, then I feel like there's not a problem with that. Just don't learn to rely on it as the only way you can read your music, okay? We're going through, we're gonna say the fingering, or we're gonna say the note names while we do the fingerings. That's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Two, ready, G, E, F, G, G, A, G, F, E, G, F, F, D, E, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, and again, G, E, F, G, G, A, G, F, E, G, F, F, D, E, F, F, G, F, D, B, C. Remember that the higher you go, the more you want to think about like thinking the E sound. Um, you can think about raising the tongue in the back just a little bit to kind of arch, almost as if you have to like arch the tongue and like let the, the sound go up. So we're thinking literally pushing the sound up. You can think about blowing hair out of your face if your hair is long enough to be in your face or if you don't put it up like I do to keep it out of my face. So you can think about lots of different things. Remember that when we had E to A, ooh, wee, ooh, wee, think about siren and make sure you're practicing on your mouthpieces to do lots of different buzzings, high and low, okay? Here we go. Two, ready. <laughs> tune with the trumpet that's playing my you're supposed to pull out just a little bit like you should have a ring that's right here and when I hold the trumpet I should hold it more like this because I would ideally put my finger in that ring and then I would pop this in out this is fused completely 
ah, shut. So I can't actually move it. So my D on this trumpet will forever be just a little bit out of tune, such as the hazard of not taking those out and making sure that you're working them all the time. So make sure that you're working on that, guys. All right, with the accompaniment, here we go. Last thing, San Sereni, last take. Two, ready. <laughs> done. The next time you have a tutorial video from me or play along video from me, it's not going to be on page 12. It's not going to be on page 13 because that was material that's in intended for performance at a winter festival concert. And we are past winter fe festival concert time. So the next time you see a video from me, it's actually going to be on page 14, where we get to start learning about eighth notes. More interesting rhythms means more interesting music. It's going to be great. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.